Hello everybody and welcome back to a fixed read. My name is Akash and today we're going to be taking a look at three indicators that help you understand if the Bitcoin bottom is in or if it's going to take a while or if it is yet to happen. Right. So before we actually get into the details of what we're going to be discussing today, please make sure to head on over to our YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to stay updated to the hottest trends in the crypto market, please make sure to also click on this bell icon. You can give us a follow on Twitter at FXS Crypto. And if you enjoy the content that I put out on my Twitter or on my YouTube channel, make sure to give me a follow as well at Mangeko with a zero at the end. Right. So let's head into the Bitcoin chart, right? Uh, if you haven't watched uh, the dollar cost averaging video uh, or the videos that I've discussed at length uh, about Bitcoin bottom, uh, which is, hold up, uh, let me just, yeah, this is the one. This is where Bitcoin price could bottom. And there was another one. Is it a good time to buy Bitcoin? Right. So these are the two videos that you guys kind of have to watch to understand uh, where from a technical standpoint could Bitcoin bottom. Right. Uh, but if, even if you haven't watched any of those, uh, right, let's just, just be looking at the charts, right? You can see the Bitcoin price has tagged the 2017 all time high at 20,870, right? It has dipped below that, gone as low as 17,585. Somewhere in the 17.5, 17.6K, uh, the Bitcoin price kind of seemed to have bottomed. And since then, the price is uh, slowly heading higher, right? But as discussed in uh, a couple of other videos, right? Uh, the 200 weekly moving average is a pretty important uh, metric that everybody kind of looks at, not just in the crypto industry, but also in, uh, in the stocks, right? Uh, 200 weekly moving average basically kind of represents uh, the presidential cycle. And it also kind of uh, encapsulates the, the stock market bull rally and uh, kind of also represents the, the start of a bull rally and the end of uh, a bull, bull rally, basically. Right. Uh, and most of the times, like as you can see here for Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin bottoms have occurred around the 200 weekly moving average. Right. Uh, during, I think it was here. Let me just. Nope. Uh, BTC USD, Bitfinex. Yeah, no, uh, either way, right? Uh, what I wanted to talk to you about is that the deviations that Bitcoin price has gone through uh, in uh, with respect to the 200 weekly moving average, right? As you can see here in uh, the, the Jan of 2015, Bitcoin price went sufficiently lower uh, than the 200 weekly moving average. Let me just quickly mark that. It was a 14% deviation. And around here in 17th August 2015, it was a 30% deviation. Uh, here was a perfect retest of the 200 weekly moving average. And then the March 20, the COVID crash or the Black Swan event with Bitcoin price dropped approximately 30% below the uh, 200 week moving average, right? And now we are seeing there was only a 21%, roughly 22% downswing that Bitcoin price has gone through below the 200 week moving average. Now, uh, What's really interesting is that in 2015, the prices deviated below the 200 week moving average, but kind of closed above or around it. And even the, the only time where the Bitcoin price kind of spent a little time below the 200 weekly moving average was in March 2020. But again, we know that March 2020, uh, the COVID crash recovered as quickly as it crashed. So now it looks a little different than uh, what it looked at in 2020. So it's really interesting to see how things will evolve from here because Bitcoin prices produced a weekly candlestick close below the 200 weekly moving average, right? Now let's, let's not consider what's going to happen next, but let's, since our discussion is about Bitcoin bottoming, right? Uh, historically speaking over the past approximately shit, approximately 2,700 and 16 by 365 this is approximately seven yeah over the last seven years right bitcoin price has bottomed around the 200 weekly moving average now that the price has come back again to uh, not just retest this but sweep below the 200 weekly moving average uh this is the first signal which indicates that bitcoin price is about to bottom 
right? Uh, let's take a look at the next indicator, which is the net unrealized profit slash loss. Right now, this is an uh, interesting indicator, right? Because it goes through, it kind of encapsulates different sentiments that the, the investors kind of go through uh, during the cycles, right? Uh, usually, say we're at the bottom here, it is capitulation, right? And then there is hope as price moves higher, and then there's optimism, and then there's belief, and then there's euphoria, which is blue, right? And finally, when uh, price reaches its cycle, uh, what happens is it goes in the opposite direction. It Euphoria turns into greed, belief turns into denial, denial that the rally is coming to an end, and then there's anxiety, and then there's actually fear in the market where people start to kind of confront that this could be a bear market. And then finally, fear turns into capitulation when price suddenly crashes uh, a lot, right? And so far, right, what's happened is the price was, you know, in the belief stage for quite some time here. Now, this cycle is pretty different. Uh, in, in, uh, in a way, the price have kind of topped because the price did see a, a drop from 65K to 29k and then a rally from 29k to 69k right so in that sense this uh, cycle is pretty different compared to all the other cycles right but now that the price has come down to roughly 19 19 17k right uh, the price has moved from the fear right to capitulation uh, if i zoom in here you can see that the price has entered capitulation somewhere around june 15th right so june 17th and june 15th the price has slipped into the capitulation area Right. So as you can see here in all of these, uh, in all of the cycles for Bitcoin, uh, the bottom has eventually occurred when the NUPL indicator has slipped into the capitulation area. Right. Same can be said for 2015 bottoms, 2018 bottom after the hash rate was in November 2018. The price dropped from $6,000 to $3,000, which led to capitulation. And then we had a mini rally. Uh, which eventually led to another crash due to COVID, uh, which pushed it into the capitulation area, as you can see here. It was a very brief uh, time spent in the capitulation area, uh, mainly because of the government's in, uh, intervention, right? And then finally, we have another capitulation here, which make, makes it the first, second, third, fourth, and the fifth capitulation in roughly four cycles that Bitcoin has gone through. So uh, this is the second indicator, which kind of, or the signal that indicates that Bitcoin price is bottoming, right? I'm not saying 17 or whatever this uh, drop was to 17,500. I'm not saying 17,500 will be the bottom, but Bitcoin price is in the process of bottoming, right? So let's move on to the third indicator, which kind of says that the price is kind of bottoming that is the pure multiple it's uh, extremely similar to the mvrv z score uh in terms of the way it looks we have a top band and we have a bottom band if the price goes into the red band here it indicates that uh, investors are in extreme profit and that they could sell which could lead to a retracement or a reversal of the rally and the green bands indicate that the price is going to bottom and that a lot of the investors are uh, out of the money, right? The PL multiple has similar looking charts, uh, although the concepts are pretty different, right? For the PL multiple, as you can see here, there's a red band which indicates the top signals and the green band which indicates the bottom signals, right? So basically, a PL multiple is calculated by calculating uh, by dividing the daily issuance of BTC. Say there's 10 BTC issued today, hypothetically speaking. You multiply that into the value of each Bitcoin and divide it by the 365 day moving average of this issuance. All right, and then you get the PL multiple. So basically, when the, uh, as you can see here, in 2012, the PL multiple hit a low of 0 0.3 to 9, which uh, corresponds to a price value of roughly $2.14 for Bitcoin. Right. Similarly, uh, the PL multiple crashed into... 0.37 relatively higher than the, the one seen here in 2012 which also correspond although they did approximately nine two hundred dollars was the price of bitcoin then and then in the after the 2017 cycle uh, the pure multiple reached 0.342 which is higher than no 
which was actually lower lower than the one seen in 2015 right so even the 2020 market crash right pushed uh the pure multiple down into this green band here roughly extending from 0.5 to 0 0.5 0.3 uh and right now as you can see here the bitcoin price has entered i mean the pure multiple has entered into this uh green band which is the buy zone right and uh just as a note here i want to mention that i'm using the seven uh day moving average for the pure multiple right, if you don't use the moving average this is how the indicator looks extremely noisy right but another important uh thing that i noticed here is that if you use a 30 day moving average right bitcoin price is yet to hit the the green band right uh and also another thing that i want to point out here is that even the 2020 crash uh, kind of failed to retest the pure multiple Right, so I think uh, an optimum amount would be 14 days. If you use the 14-day moving average, uh, it, it is kind of the, a better indicator. Right, seven-day moving average, 14-day moving average. Either way, right, if you look at it, Bitcoin price is in the process of bottoming, and the bottom could occur anywhere between uh, 20k and 18k. Right, and if you have, if you watch this video that I just spoke about here, right, I will show you. Right, in this video, I spoke about apparently that is gone. Yeah, so either way, in the, in the videos that I mentioned, right, I kind of spoke about how $20,000 is a pretty uh, important level, $19,000 is a pretty important level, and that plus or minus $2,000 to $19,000 is where Bitcoin price is going to bottom. And I'm not sure if it's 19k or 20k, but either way, uh, I marked out a zone here, extending something like this. Right, it was extending from 22 and 18 thousand dollars, right? And this is how the box was. Right, so this was the box. I expected Bitcoin price to bottom in this area. Uh, but, right, I still have to, like, there's one warning that I would have, would like to give to all of my viewers, all the viewers of FX Street, is that, technically speaking, and looking at the indicators, this feels like a bottom, right? Uh, Bitcoin heading down to 17K feels like an extreme bottom. But um, th there are still things you have to consider, right? The first thing is what's happening within the crypto ecosystem, right? Uh, 3AC, first it was the, the Terra Luna uh, imploding, and then there was Celsius uh, mishap, and after which uh, the 3AC kind of got uh, liquidated, uh, a margin called, and then uh, we saw the, the fiasco that happened with uh, Solend, where the developers kind of took over uh, with a vote and prevented liquidation of a whale, right? So all of these things kind of indicate that the bottom is not here yet. And if you look at what's happening with synthetics, right, uh, it has it has rallied 121% in the last 48 hours, right? And it's not even been 48 hours yet last. So all of these massive, massive valley uh, that is that you're seeing here. And yes, uh, and a few days ago, it was Siren Perp, which rallied 1,000, what? 2,600% in two days, uh, roughly three days, right? So all of these uh, kind of indicate that the bottom is not in yet and that we have yet to see the true capitulation, right? And Another reason why I feel like there could be a massive capitulation event like we kind of witnessed in uh, 2018 because of the, the hash rate wars and then there was the, the March crash uh, in 2020 because of COVID. But we haven't seen such a crash uh, this cycle yet and I think the recession, right, the, the pending or the impending looming recession that's kind of plaguing the, the traditional stock markets could be a trigger that could potentially push the markets into the deep end of the pool right so that's what i'm expecting right so that said i think the important levels that you have to consider where bitcoin price could bottom include 15.5k 13.5k and then 11.9k these are the levels where bitcoin price could easily bottom so yep that concludes my analysis for the top three Bitcoin bottom signals. So if you enjoyed this, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe.